Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager tutorial videos. This is an addendum to the Advanced Inventory Manager add-on, which will go in-depth into one more advanced feature of the add-on, which will hopefully prevent you from running into problems if you ever need to update some of your fields. Specifically, we'll be talking about changing the options of your custom drop-down or radio button fields. For instance, in our type for microphones, you'll see down at the bottom we have a field for whether or not the microphone is cordless with a radio button for yes or no, as well as a drop down for the available range with a simple lowest, middle, and high. What you need to watch out for is changing any of these options because it affects the inventory items that have those options selected. For instance, we'll see on our inventory item microphone here, if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that our available range is set to middle. If we head back to our type and change the name of the available range, maybe to medium, save, and then refresh our item, we'll see that it defaults back to the first option. Something similar happens with radio buttons. We'll see that it's marked yes for cordless. If we change that, even just a single letter, and then refresh over here, we'll see that the radio button becomes blank. This only affects the items that have that option selected. For example, so let's change our options back to normal. And we'll see if we were to change lowest to be simply low. Save and refresh. We'll see that our available range is still set to medium. You can also change the name of the field itself without any changes to the inventory items. However, built into the Advanced Inventory Manager add-on, there is an easy way to resolve this issue. Simply click this little pencil icon right here, and we'll see in this pop-up that we have the option to add different columns. When using multiple columns, the first column is the value, which can be set separately from the information that is displayed when you're adding or editing an inventory item. That will show up in the second column. So we see yep and no. However, if we wanted a yes to show up, and we'll also add no here. This saves automatically, so just feel free to close. And you can see the markup for it right here. And now we'll save and refresh the item. We'll see that what has displayed has been changed, but the value has not. As long as you don't change the value, you can change the associated display information without losing any data. We head back to our editing pop-up. There's also a third column available for your own notes if you ever need to keep a record or add any additional information about the option. And this same pop-up can be found on the drop-down field as well with all the same options. There is another way to tackle this issue if you have a large inventory and want to change the values while you're getting your columns set up. It involves using the bulk item manager. To start, we'll temporarily create a new field for our type. And simply call it marked for change. And just leave it as a text field. And save type. Now if we head to our bulk item management, we can search where type is equal to microphones. And if we were going to change the value of the available range middle, we could check where the available range is equal to medium. And when we preview our results, 
we'll see our single item that's set to medium, but any item that had that value set to medium would show up here. And if we click this button to modify those items and add a field to update, we'll change our marked for changed and replace the blank value that they all have with yes. And then if we preview those results, we'll see that the item we saw listed earlier will say yes under marked for change. Then simply hit the modify matching items button to do this. Now if we head back to the advanced item management, We can change our value here, and after we've done that, if we head back to bulk item management, we can then search for where marked for change is equal to yes, and update our field with the variable range to replace it with the new value. Thank you for watching this WP Inventory Manager tutorial video. If you have any questions, we encourage you to check the tutorials page in the WP Inventory documentation, or as always, feel free to reach out to us on the support tab in your WordPress dashboard. Thank you.